Today, we're going to check out some more Legend of Vox Machina. Let's jump into it. Logo reveal. But before we do, maybe consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy these reactions. We're trying to get over 30,000 subscribers by the end of the month, 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and all of that's possible if people like you choose to subscribe. Though I mainly do like anime content, so obviously if you're not a fan of anime, I don't blame you for not wanting to subscribe. But hey, if you like some anime here and there, you like stuff like Vox Machina, we're going to be doing The Last of Us soon, probably doing one you know, not anime thing at a time going forward, then maybe consider subscribing. And if you liked the video, then like and comment and you can find the full link as well as exclusives over on Patreon. Probably weren't hoping to, to, to be, I mean, I don't even think they wanted a homecoming at all. What the fuck? Maybe just moving the city around and sh Just a few more blocks and we're fucked. We seek an audience with an ambassador of a star. Let's go! The hype is here! <laughs> this shit is dope. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. So he wasn't the king ambassador. What do you what is it? What is it? What is it? What is, it, what is that? Ambassador of Asar. The rich man. Oh my no peasantry in this building. Look at the wood. The wood is is exquisite. It's not mahogany or cherry. Ugh. Disgusting. No. This is I don't even know what the fuck he said. <laughs> oh, oh, a little bit of Riz. <laughs> he's he's got the Riz. Oh. Will he though? Will he though? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Your father will be pleased to see. Ahem. You brought these halflings. I don't know. Uh, that's not. That's not what a halfling is. Y you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I would have been had you notified me. You'd be gracing us with your presence. Fuck you, bitch. We still hope you die. Ah, uh, that's cute. Who's the voice? Wait, who's the voice of this guy? I knew it. I fucking knew it, dude. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it, dude. I could just, I could just hear it, dude. Oh, uh, Henry Winkler, dude. I knew it. Oh, they're friends from before. That's so cute. Damn, feels bad. Bro, he, hey, low key, he kind of given off, he kind of given off, um, you ever seen a uh, princess bride? The princess bride? The one that has got, that's got Andre the Giant in it. But he's given off like the, the dude with the, with the thing, the air thing to, to revive, um, dude, I haven't seen that movie in so long, dude. So long. <laughs> that's what he reminds me of. Percival Frederick Steinbaum, Yusuf Kolowski, the Rose of the Third, of the Royal House of Whitestone. Well then, Lord Rose the Third, what can Single do for you? Damn, bro! Bro, fuck this guy, dude! I don't like their dad. He's oh, I don't, I don't. Okay, I don't know. He either he, that response was either one of two things: one, kind of sarcastic, or two, he was genuine and he cares more about this guy, the noble, than the two children of his. <sighs> Calm down. Oh, we're in Vox Machina. I mean, um, and we fuck shit up. <laughs> Weird box. No, no. What's it called? A conjunction? What, what, are, what are they called? That's not the word. That's not the word. What is it called when you... No, that's not the word. What is it called? Ah, damn it. Contractions. I was close. All right. I got the con. I got the shuns. I just... I said junk instead of track. So, I was pretty close. We've come for an ancient weapon set to lie in the shade mark. The Fintress bow. You know. You know of the bow. Legends say it fires arrows strong enough to wound a titan. Maybe a dragon! <laughs> Why do you think we're trying to get it? You want to chase a fleeting rumor to a desolate waste. <sighs> you unbelievable prick. This is a time for all of us. I love Vax, bro. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. And yet here you are. Throwing my 1v1 him! I despise your name. No, it's fine. Ah. Uh, Vax! Stop it! He's an asshole! Oh my god, she's like the girl that always goes back to the fuckboy that always screws her over, except it's her dad. <sighs> huh. 
kind of a telling thing, right? It's, it's it, that's probably kind of what it usually is, right? Daddy issues and shit. Uh, anyways, anyways, she, I mean, I just oh, she just makes me so mad. Any assistance, we would be most grateful. Wallop. <laughs> Face down, ass up. Let's go, Grog. Oh, hell no. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Bro, you ain't even. Oh! Bro, you didn't like boob it up. Nothing. You could have at least spat on it. <laughs> But not your dad, because he's a fucking asshole. This decree promises safe passage. You'll need to amend one name, though. Lady Vexalia, Baroness of the Third House of Whitestone and Grand Mistress of the Grey Hunt. Do watch your manners towards a noble. Really, Duolo, such a transparent ploy is beneath your dignity. Did you dare talk to him like that? Let's go, Vex! Step up to his bitch ass! For my years of civility. We won't fail. Which is more than I can say about you as a father. Oh! Bitch! Bitch! Then prove me wrong. Show me that bow and I will give you the welcome you think you deserve. Fuck you! Nobody needs your welcome! Not. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah! Yeah! Teach the little kid bad language. Let's go! Hey, say it more! Say it more! Say it more! Say it more! <laughs> yeah, let's go! We taught her bad words! <laughs> her goodie, you're back. What kind of dick you been drawing, bro? Your father really is quite the, uh... Piece of shit? Oh, that works too. You gotta write that one down. A bag of cocks. That's like an insult. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of cool. What is that? Some sort of super arrowhead. Oh, Vex definitely submitting. Vex is definitely submitting. Ew. Eweez. Ooh, I don't like that. Bro, are they all gonna get taken over by one of these fucking things? Or whatever? Vex, are you alright? She ain't passing through it, bro. She walking on it. What a prick, bro. Ooh, this is creepy, bro. Ah, uh, no more dick man. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I, I like the design here. Very interesting. Oh, he's also Elven. Very creepy. Very, very creepy. He, he low-key, he is giving off, um... Oh, nah, dude. Don't be fooled! Yo, daddy, don't love you. Kind of fucked up to say, but it's true. If I could pull the blood of him from my veins and give it back, I would. I could grant that wish. Whoa! Grab that ass! Get that ass! Oh, why you gotta keep on bringing up the broken thing? It's kind of fucked up, you think? All I need from you is, is your heart. Oh, wait, no! Wait! Remember what, uh, remember what Percy said? He said that, that your kind and your warm heart, was it warm, caring, kind, one of those, it was more unique than anything. Just saying. My heart. Yes! You're freed! Yes! Slay the Vecna! This man is giving off Vecna. That's what I was going to say. He's giving off like Vecna vibes. Please. You need me. No. You could never give me what I need. Hey. Let's go. Okay. Rude. Oh, hell no. With the with the tree whisperer. Oh, she about to flame on. Unlock her Fire Lord Sozin abilities.
Damn, twig dick, rude. It's not a twig, it's a branch. I mean, I mean, it's a, it's a tree trunk. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, let's go. Yo, she is like Tarzan and all over these vines and stuff or whatever they're called. Ooh. Ouch. Keyleth! Oh, let's go, Keyleth! She's in her fire avatar state. Dude, that's so dope. It's so cool. It's so sick. That was fucking hype, right? I know you guys are like, damn! No bows in the quiver. You know what to do. Use that arrowhead that he sent or that he gave you. Right? She gonna use that one arrowhead? Ouch, ouch. Okay, ouch. All of that hurts so much. She is going. Mm. Do it. She, hey, she playing him right now, bro. She's slain the Vecna. Ah! Oh! Now the legendary bow is mine. Yo, return. Hey, I don't. I don't part of me doesn't even want her to return home. Fuck that guy, dude. Oh, let's go. I distinctly remember you saying we never see you again. Yes. Yeah, I feel like I feel like. Damn, he could make portals and shit. You have given me more entertainment in the last Oh, is he like a god or something? Oh! Oh! Man, he switched up from the one one voice to the other really well. It's his, it's his big brother. To my uncle. uncle, damn it! Yo, I, listen, you're not gonna believe me, but I swear, right after I said big brother, I was like, nope, it's his uncle. I swear to you, I swear to you, because I didn't think it was his father at all. Like we already, we're, we're already dealing with like father shit. Like nah, father, no. Ah, damn it. Ah. Wait, what? He he did what? How does that work? How does it work? I do not understand. He killed you with the gauntlets. Okay, that was good, man. That was a good episode. Really interesting seeing the, the way that that whole situation that Vex was in played out. I really liked the fact that she did stand up to her dad in that moment because he is a prick. He's an asshole. And I like the fact that his kid learned how to say fuck you. And hopefully sometime soon she says fuck you to her father because Fuck that guy. We got to see the true form of Garmil, which was pretty cool because he's not just a little, um, damn, what are they called? Fawns? What's the other term for him? A satyr. Yeah, he wasn't just that. He was actually one of the gods. Wow, it's actually his vestige, you know? Much like the Sphinx that we met or the uh, the Matron of Ravens. All of, They're all kinda, you know, the same sort of thing. And it just so happens that the Vecna-like like guy that I, I'm gonna keep calling him Vecna. I don't know, he was giving off those vibes. You know, Stranger Things season four, Vecna. That guy was more like Pervon than the actual little god or anything, you know? So he was kind of like that that representative. But of course, they're gonna have a battle. We also got to meet Pike's dad, voiced by Henry Winkler. That was something. And you know what? I would be fine with Vex not returning to see her dad until after they kill the dragons. And she returns with the fucking bow after she killed the dragons. I want him to like try to accept her, welcome her back. And I just want her to shit on it. Just say, listen, motherfucker, I'm better than you. I'm not coming back. I don't love you because you never loved us. Fuck you. I don't know, something along those lines. Maybe not my verbiage, 
you know, verbatim. With that said, it was really cool seeing Percy stick up for her. Percy being that guy, you know, there's definitely the connection there. You know, we see connections throughout this whole thing. Grog's got no connection though. Oh, so bad. But there is that Scanlan Pike connection, Vex and Percy connection. There's the Vax and Keyleth connection. Grog, I don't, yeah, Grog's, Grog's not really, no real connection for him. It kind of feels bad. Maybe eventually there will be. I don't know. Oh my god, dude. I've already forgotten what, what race uh, Grog is. A young Grog. Grog. Yeah. He looked funny with his little helmet on. <laughs> Mid Carver showed me the city overrun by half giants like Grog. Well, oh, half giants. Aw, oh, he's like a quarter giant right now. <laughs> Get out of my sight, and hope your luck turns round. He's still gonna kill him. What? Ah, uh, Boulder Parchment Shears. What the fuck? Yeah, we got bad blood. <laughs> Thanos! Thanos, this is like a Thanos Infinity Gauntlet situation. Would you be impressed if I single handedly infiltrated Western and retrieved said vestige? Well, it would be the bravest thing I've ever seen you do. Oh, look at him blush. You don't have to tell me anything if you don't want to, but it might make you feel better. He was a murderer. When I was with the hood, I did things. Real bad things. Was that his brother? What was that? The day I met him. Oh. Please, spare me. Oh. I have a family. That's what set him off? That? 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 The locket with the little pit? That? That changed everything for him? All right, we better get some deep explanation here because I don't know. It's about to be the weakest one so far, man. Someone needs to stand up to my father and take this. Oh, that's his cousin. <laughs> Just a wrap. Boom. Somebody puts our head in. Oh, wait. What is this? What is this? Who the fuck? Are you one of them? I'm about four feet too short to be one of them. Who are you people? I'm sort of an adventurer, rebel leader, musician. Someone say philosopher. Name Scanlan. As in Scanlan Short. Whoa! Wait, what? Family? Or or are there legends about him? What 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 the fuck is going on there? What do we have here? Look. Find yourself a pet. Oh, turn on his cousin like that? Come on. Thank you, people. I hope I can repay your kindness someday. Oof. They about to test how strong his jaw is now. Not as good of a fighter. Ooh, well shit. What you gonna do with that? Hey, yo, that's your brother, son. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ouchies. That's crazy. He kept all his teeth through that. Damn, son. 
Oh, that arm, dude. Ouch. Then he was saved. Yeah, let's go. How many generations of them were alive, bro? Damn. Thank you for saving my grandfather. Oh, wait, so that wasn't her dad then? You're a good boy. Well, at least this little folk's alive. Why is he here? Is he following us? Uh oh. You've uh, heard of me? Indeed, I have. No one wants your dumb autograph. These people have no food and are running out of water. <sighs> Damn it! Oh, and she riding with them too. Oh no. Nah. Oh, oh, I am displeased. <laughs> ah, ah, Leave no stone unturned, or a dragon will be the least of your worries. How long must we endure this, father? Our survival this is this not survival. We should be hunting these dragons. Dragons? Bro. I tire of your whining. Do it. Damn. Ouch. Listen, the Avengers did it to Thanos. I'm just saying. Or they almost did, and Star Lord fucked it up, but there's no Star Lord here. Bro, he do look mad skinny compared to everybody else. I'm not worried about you, you cuck. From what I've heard, Damn! She called him a cuck. Oh, wait, what she heard? Fine, everyone can come, but it'll be dangerous. They might die. Nah, dude, you talking about something else, bro. Yeah, you know, you know, man. You was talking about something else. They run into Grog, no? Oof. I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> we have been worried sick. Huh. Happy to see me, huh? No. Huh. Hey, don't worry, everyone. This murderous half giant is actually on our side. He looks skinny. Damn it! Why? <laughs> Everybody just keeps on shitting on him. Just freaked out that your uncle's herd has teamed up with the dragon. They what? They what? <laughs> Come on. Huh. I'm not going. We'll catch up. I promise. Well. <laughs> She's like, damn, you ain't gotta tell me twice. Well, what are you doing? He's gotta beat his pop his uncle. And that's not gonna change unless someone takes down the herd unless I take down. Uh, little man, you ain't doing it, bro. Like that? Your belt looks like it's wearing you. Damn. Why does everybody got shit on his eyes right now? Feel bad for him. You said I'm different now. But if I leave, I'm as weak as he always said I was. It's standing up for the little folk. That's what makes me different from them. That's what you fight for. You found what you fight for. Ouch! Oh, I thought there were hundreds, bro. They don't look like no hundreds. Look more like tens out there than hundreds. I'll challenge you. Dun 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 dun. Skinny little grog. <laughs> No, who are you, dude? You look kind of skinny, bro. What's going on? What's going on with you, dude? Who are you? <laughs> He's so skinny compared to everybody else, man. I feel so, I feel bad for him, bro. I know he wants to be all cool and shit, but I feel like episode ten is gonna be like, no, I don't. I don't remember you. 
have a, a, a beard and you're really skinny. I don't I don't remember anybody as skinny as you, skinny man. Like, damn it. Looks like a string bean. <laughs> so just as last episode really focused on the Vex, Vax, Percy, Keyleth side of things in the Fey realm, this episode really focused on the Grog side of things in West Run? I think it's called West Run. We found out a little bit more about Grog, his backstory, and like why he left the herd. Well, he was kind of kicked out because he saved Pike's great great grandfather. I I swear that's what she said because I mm, maybe I wasn't paying as much attention as I should have, but I know that he. I know at one point she said just two greats, so I'm assuming she was talking about great great grandfather. But it wasn't her dad. I I would like to learn a little more about uh, you know the the grandfather that he saved and because I feel like he's going off murder and killing people and then just out of nowhere the one guy the locket opens he's like oh okay never mind my whole outlook on life has changed was he already feeling those feelings of like remorse or regret or or you know whatever for killing all these people was he already feeling that way or was it a new feeling like it just feels a little odd to me so a little bit deeper into that would would maybe make it feel more real like make it feel like there's some real substance to it, it it's just it just felt really surface level and like very like i don't know debunkable is that a like I don't, I don't know word i'm looking for but it just i don't know it just didn't feel as like impactful as maybe they wanted it to regardless he is now challenging his uncle the leader of the herd hopefully he does win that well let, let's be real plot armor he's gonna win it um he'll get the vestiges that'll be his thing he'll just start beating the shit out of stuff instead of using an axe or using this or that uses fists we also got to meet another traveling group of of musicians and they're aware of scanlan that was kind of cool i like that we got to see a little bit more about how the dragon is taking from the the herd here and the herd's just like going along with it and it turns out the uncle is doing that so that way he can get a permanent home for the herd which honestly not the worst idea though there are a lot of herd members getting just killed by the dragon which is kind of fucked with that said i'd love to know what you all thought about the episode down in the comments below and and as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. Till next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.